Hey everyone, I'm Nord Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the newest animation called The Raptor. This was an animation made by Puntus51. Kind of came out of nowhere and kind of is exploding right now. So I thought we would take a look at it. So let's throw our headset on. There we go. And let's take a look at this. Okay. So before we start, I am going to watch the entire video first, then I'm going to watch it again, but pause it and break it down to see what's on the screen. So the classic, uh, the classic uh, intro to Space Marines. Incense and everything. Neato. Bunch of candles, definitely setting a good atmosphere of industrial plus occult. The weakest alarm ever. Oh, that Tempris looked cool as hell. Okay, they straight up stole this scene from uh, <laughs> Iron Man. His head is gigantic. This is Mark 10. So this is a Primaris Marine then. His head looks a little bit too big for his body. even has the little interlock. Oh my god, it is. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way. But I could definitely see where this person got the inspiration for it. So there's a there's a lot there that we need to go over. Okay, so so let's take it scene by scene. So more than likely, this is aboard a ship. Uh, I would actually probably say like oh, Space Marines only have three classes of ship. They have their fr uh, frigates, they have their light cruisers, and then they have their heavy cruisers. Then they have their battle barge, so four. Four classes of ship. I would actually have to say that this isn't a battle barge because of how condensed it is. So there's that. I do like the incense and everything burning around. All the candles, so this is definitely where the, uh, the uh, Mechanicus hang out. This scene right here is it's good just for like a screensaver. This is amazing, this is a good background. This is very well done. I really enjoy this. So let's take a look. 
Get that alarm again, the alarm again. Mostly we just want to take a look at the, um, the Marine. And I do feel like his head is a bit too fat, <laughs> but that's just me. Again, there's no standard human in 40K since humans come from a million different worlds as well as being void born. The standardized human is basically just a genetic thing that you have to match because um, some humans can be upwards of nine foot tall if they're void born. Some humans can actually be like three feet tall because of high gravity worlds. So, and that's kind of the same with space marines. Some space marines are taller than other space marines. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. So this is the arming station. This is probably a biologist or an, um, I wouldn't say it's a tech priest per se. Well, it is a tech priest, obviously, but I think that they're probably biologists because they're taking care of him himself versus just his armor. Got my hot chocolate. The walking animation is pretty good. I do really like this. This looks like it was ripped straight from the Mechanicus game. So very well done. We have the Omni Specs in his eyes, which I really like. This gives him the ability to see, or them the ability to see thermal, uh, night, as well as uh, different colors. Um, and by that, I mean different colors than your three primary. So they can see like eight different colors as their primary. So they see the world different than us. And the other one is just a basic augmentic with um, the ability to zoom and enhance all images. I do like the servo arm. I think it's really cool. Actually, this is probably just an army tech priest. Just thinking about it. But this scene, this scene is straight out of Iron Man. Like, I guarantee I can find this. Like, hang on. Hang on. Um. Oops. Villagers have been forced to take shelter and what they can find. Where is this the army scene? I don't want to get a copyright strike. So... Yeah. Even with the same interlocks and everything. I love this scene, by the way. It was one of my favorites. So I guarantee that was the inspiration for this. So like, watch. Yeah, you could definitely tell that it was it was inspired by this. But that's not a bad thing. I'm just pointing it out. I just think it's kind of neat. So we actually get to see what he thinks the underlining of the Mark 10 armor looks like, which I really like. Uh, the shoulder pads still don't work, but that's just because shoulder pads on Space Marines can't physically function because, well, their size and how they would connect to your arm because the second, like even here, you can see that if he put his arms up any higher, this thing would crush his head. And he said it's gigantic. His head is gigantic. I can't get over that. I like his giant head. Kind of reminds me of um, Terminator. Not Terminator. Uh, Robocop. So this scene I want to point out a lot. I, I really like this. Like the, uh, the backpack. So check this out real quick. Let's get to that backpack scene. So a lot of people don't know what this is actually for. They think it's just an external vent. This is actually a gyro stabilizing unit. This right here can actually throw the Space Marine a little bit faster. It's kind of like a jump pack, but micro. It can't prolong it, but it's mostly meant to keep the Space Marine balanced in low gravity worlds, on shifting worlds, and on things like that. The parts down here that you see, uh, if you can see my mouse, this is where all of the external venting comes from. And it's, in my opinion, it's one of the coolest things because gyro stabilization for something this big is going to be needed 
Because if a space marine gets hit by a world being destroyed underneath their feet, it's going to throw them and they're going to die relatively quickly. Like a space marine that falls over is a space marine that's dead. So this is the auto bolt rifle, which I really like. It's got an extended magazine. I do like this uh, adaptation or their adaptation of the actual bolter itself. Because like you can see that he's reloading the bolt shells themselves. They're a little bit too big uh, considering I actually have corrected size bolter rounds. Uh, even for the auto bolt gun, they're a little bit big. But other than that, that's really accurate. I do like that he has the belt, uh, the utility belt off to the side here. And he has specs on his weapon. He has the knife in the background here. And I just, I like all of this stuff. It's really good world building. The purity seal going on, I think is really cool. So one thing that a lot of people wonder is uh, how do purity seals stay on because just a little bit of heat or friction would knock them off since they're wax. Well, they're actually more like molten metal uh, that's planted on. It's a uh, molten metal with, um, what, what, is, what is it called? It's called like silver shroud or something like that. Quicksilver, quicksilver metals in it, which helps them become immune to demons. Resistant to demons. And then you got him stabbing that orc right there. Let's take a look at that real quick. That stabbing of the orc. E, Stab you. Also, I do like the two lights. And you can see on his arm here, uh, the, the actual uh, comm links and everything that he has. The data slate built into his arm. So I think that's really cool. The motion is really good too. Like... The bulk of the orc itself is looking pretty good. So I'm excited to see where this goes. And I do like all the damage on the Space Marine's armor. Like you can see areas where the armor itself got messed up. This just looks really good. You can see the Space Marine's actually aiming. And you can also see something that I pointed out in my Sororitas battle video where the bolter itself actually lines up pretty perfectly with the shoulder pads. And I, could, I should, should have been able to do a jump cut here to demonstrate it, but I am far too lazy to put on Sororitas armor just to show you this scene is possible when the scene is right here. I think the bolter itself, like a lot of people are going to talk about the fact that the bolter itself has no recoil. And this is true. Bolters don't have that much recoil. Like that, that would be it. That'd be it. They're a gas-operated grenade launcher, essentially, that fires a gyrojet out of it. So at most, it's going to have the same kickback of a, at highest, an RPG. But at the lower end, it's going to be a grenade launcher. And since this is Belisarius Call's work with the Mark X armor and the Mark X bolter, it's probably way more streamlined. So things like this, where he's firing it with little to no recoil, that's actually accurate. The reason that humans can't fire Astartes weapons is because of the machine spirit attacking them. That's actually the reason. That's in Dark Heresies, second edition and first edition, and in older lore dating back to Rogue Trader. That's the only reason. There is nothing saying that a human can't wield two Astartes bolters at the same time. In fact, there's actually uh, weapons and armor and items that you can take to do that, one thing being a suspenser, which makes the weapon extremely light. Essentially, it messes with the gravity around the weapon. You can have um, uh, recoil gloves to get rid of any and all recoil. Two weapon wielder, two weapon master, ambidextrous. These would actually, this is the RPG talking. This would actually allow you to wield two bolters. And one of the scariest things in Dark Heresy is actually wielding two storm bolters. So yeah, it's a human can wield an Astartes weapon. It's just bulky and awkward for them because it's meant for, well, something bigger than them. And again, I do like the, this scene right here. Like, just that. That looks really good. Let's do that again. Yeah, that's extremely fluid. That's extremely fluid. But, and I'm gonna be a butt. The auto bolt rifle uh, does have an automatic setting. 
it has a three burst uh, secondary setting and a single burst third setting. Just saying. Although I do really like this. I did like this animation. I do like that they actually cocked the bolt gun because that is something you actually have to do. Uh, honestly, it looked incredible. And I hope the best for this creator. I hope they make more. And I want to see like what they actually get into and see where this goes. So if you enjoyed this, um, this reaction, there we go. If you enjoyed this reaction to this video, please hit that subscribe button. It's over here, right, right here. See, there it is. Okay, ring that bell for notifications, as well as checking out all the links in the description down below. You can follow me on all sorts of social media, including Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I might make a TikTok, but if you're super awesome, you can check out my Patreon. I have exclusive videos on there going over the old books on my shelves, because a lot of people have been asking about that. So I finally sat down and just opened them up, and you can see my setup in the background. And yeah. So as always, I'm Nern Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.